Tony D and Little Joan with three different uh, events or movies. First, there's Masters of the Air uh, running on Apple TV. Then Underdogs with Snoop Dogg and Good Grief by Dan Levy. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 13 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So, uh, you know, the guy who played Elvis, what's his name? Butler. He's in this. Masters of the Air. It's going to be a nine-episode event. It's the big war. I, I don't know how many more movies you can make about this stuff, but apparently they're making another one. I mean, it's like Hollywood's trapped in amber. You know, in... In the 60s and 70s and 80s, I understood it. There were still people alive from the Great War, but they're mostly all gone. There are very few left. It's like, you know, and I get it. It's, it's an important event, but my God, how many more movies? I don't know. Is this, I, I assume this is based on a book or something. It's about the war, you know. The Tuskegee Airmen are in it. I don't think it's particularly woke, but whatever. This time, the focus is on the guys who flew the planes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, uh, streaming January 26th, if you want to say it. I don't know how many... There they are, the Tuskegee guys. I don't know how many more of these movies they can make. Um, doesn't really have a three acts but you know how the war goes we win uh next up is underdogs from prime uh basically it stars snoop doggy dog as a former football player who gets into a terrible accident and is forced into community service and he has to coach uh his a football team in long beach as punishment and he is, uh, uh, he recruits some guy who tries to rob him at gunpoint. Um, I don't know. It's, Snoop isn't a great actor, is the bottom line. He's trying to be funny. I mean, it's kind of mildly amusing. But Snoop doesn't even look like a football player to me. This isn't a football player look to me. He looks like Snoop Dogg. With ridiculous hair and clothes. I mean, to me, football players are big, big guys. He doesn't look like a big guy. He looks like a skinny guy. So, I get it. They're casting But just because he's black doesn't mean he's a football player. He doesn't look to be in shape enough to be an ex-athlete. To me. He looks too skinny. So, it's going to be like the Bad News Bears with Snoop Dogg. I guess instead of getting drunk, he'll get high. George Lopez is in it for some reason. I don't know. I, I you know, you know this one. First act, he gets into the car accident. He's assigned to it. Second act, him and his, I, I, I his ex-con buddy help coach the team in unconventional ways, and they, at first, they don't do too well. Then. Uh, then George Lopez helps them, and then they they learn the importance of teams and friendship and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, it kind of looks awful. <laughs> uh, here's the write-up. When Jason 2 J's Jennings, a washed-up former pro football star, hits rock bottom, he is sentenced to community service, coaching an unruly peewee football team in his hometown. He may just turn his life around and reclaim his love of the game feels like a this feels like a rich dude making a movie that's what it feels like he seems wrong for the part i i can't really believe him as a as an ex-athlete i just can't he's just he was never that big he doesn't look he just doesn't look the part um now his sidekick is this mike epps i think that's his name is that mike epps or am i confusing him with another? it looks like him he looks big enough, maybe, maybe, but not Snoop. He looks too thin. Maybe as a basketball player? Oh, I don't think he's tall enough either. So I, I don't know if this casting works. 
but I get it. Suspension of disbelief and all, but and and Snoop's just not he's just not selling me on it. I don't think he's a good actor. And finally, Good Grief, very sad movie. Daniel Levy plays a gay guy, his husband dies, and then he takes his friend to Paris because we deserve joy. And it's about friendship and loss and yada yada. A film by Daniel Levy, son of Eugene. Looks very depressing, but I think it's meant to be inspirational. Uh, but it also feels like rich people doing rich people things. Like, you know, he's depressed and his friends help him get through it. And then to reward them, he goes, oh, let me take you to Paris for the weekend. Like, first off, uh, I hear Paris is a wreck. <laughs> So that doesn't sound like uh, a great thing, but okay. I guess you got there on the, you you managed to clear the streets using the, using the movie company security to shoot this thing. But you know that's a super expensive thing, written and directed by Daniel Levy, who probably has a little money. I'm guessing January fifth. Um, you know, so it it's about a gay guy dealing with the grief of his the loss of his spouse spouse you know pretty standard first act uh he's dealing with the loss i think i think his husband's already dead and his friends are helping him and he's trying to get out there and rebuild his life and maybe it just the death just happened a little while ago he's not dealing too well they're looking in on him um you know he gets into maybe doing some stuff finally gets better enough he says oh let me take it to paris and then the second act i think is mostly the paris and then them trying to convince him hey you know you got to get back out there it's been a year and uh, it's time to move on with your life and blah 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 uh he meets some guy and they go for a drink and uh they also have some other drama and then you know he moves on with his life depressing uh, <laughs> it's depressing to me. But uh, let's read the write-up. Mark, Dan Levy, was content living in the shadow of his larger-than-life husband, Oliver. But when Oliver unexpectedly dies, Mark wor Mark's world shatters, sending him and his two best friends, Sophie and Thomas, on a soul-searching trip to Paris and reveals some hard truths they needed to face. Good grief, Mark's Levy's debut as a feature film writer and director. Well... I like that aspect of it. I mean, I think Levy is fairly talented. So it looks like a well-done movie. It's just not the topic I would prefer. So, how do I rate these three? Masters of the Air, Underdogs, and Good Grief. I mean, none of them I would probably see. But, gun to my head, out of those three... The first, I guess, would be, well, the bottom one, I, I, I would say, have to be underdogs. Even though it's a comedy, it just doesn't look good. It looks like, uh, it looks terrible. It just looks awful to me. Number two, I guess, would be underdog, uh, not underdogs, the uh, Masters of the Air movie, the, the uh, yeah, this, because... I don't know, it's nine episodes long, but again, it does, it looks like it's quality, but it's way too long for me. I, I, I There's no way I could sit through this. Uh, actually, I would put this on the bottom because of its length. Although for its quality, I would put it in the middle. And then at the top, I'd probably put the Daniel Levy movie, even though I don't really want to see it. I don't like these movies, they're sad. But it looks like he's trying to do something. I, I you know... You got to hand it to a writer, filmmaker, actor who's going to put together a whole project like this. There would be some detail in here. There would be a craft to see. So, you know, I think it would probably be pretty watchable. Uh, Levy seems like a talented cat. So I'd, I'd see it, I guess. But uh, overall, these three, not really my cup of tea. And that's it for me, Tony D. and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say take it. I'll be at the Bayshore Center this weekend 
Friday and Saturday for their holiday market, and then on Sunday in Absecon for the Oddball Vintage Show. Hope to see you there. We'll see you tomorrow.